tactically and strategically sound when they're playing, you know. They always seem to have a knack for having the Pokemon that they want for in the situation yeah, that the they right, want. For the right situation, right. of course. Even, at, even when the opponent's doing their best to try to throw that game plan off. And Mr. Konkon's over and over. Oh, he's playing his headsets on. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. Konkon is like, not only is Luigi his best character, he like prides himself on being an amazing like solo Luigi yeah. player. Yeah. You know? I mean, he's definitely a story player going all the way back to Brawl. Had a brief... Uh, Brief flash on the uh, on the radar as a Luigi that beat zero, and yeah. then you know the legacy continues. And as we said, Pandaria, Pandaria, and the uh, the pride of Washington State down south here in SoCal. Love, always love to have him. I always love to watch him play. He's always such a you know really aggressive powerhouse, and just really makes it happen. Yeah, Had a lot of big wins in a Smash Four yeah. Two towards the end. And right now, speaking of aggressive powerhouse, he's coming in with that Squirtle and put on just a little bit of a lead and. This is, I think this is the character that people are gravitating towards as the strongest oh, 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 of the Pokemon. Oh, oh. Wow, he picks up the down air. And I was going to say, because the down air and the up air hitboxes are so massive. Yeah. <laughs> that, that Ivy Sword, oh wow. Wow. Like, thinking that down air hitbox is being massive. That really didn't catch from Konkong. Yeah, he's off stage. He's able to. Oh, no. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say he's able to get back, but wow. Pandarian had other ideas. Let me down smash you real quick. Yeah, not only did he get stuck in the stage, but then Pandarian, for good measure, just spikes him down yeah. with that Ivysaur. Yeah, that down arrow is so powerful. I might have said down smash. My apologies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks like an aerial down smash pretty much. Is, uh, it hits so hard. And they just go for it on stage. It's like one of those old school safety down airs. Yeah, it, the hitbox is so large that you can safely throw it out from the stage. And it'll pretty much get the spike on most characters. And that fireball from Mr. Konkon was able to force a Pokemon switch. But he didn't really press the advantage too hard. Kind of keep an eye out for that if he's able to force a Charizard switch if he, you know, takes that as an opportunity to really make it happen. Definitely. Okay. Just the Nair coming out. Wait out these things. Caught call the shield drop with this, uh, the Cyclone here. Just Kalkon looking really strong at the ledge. Oh. Classic yeah. Luigi combo falling there into the back here. Going to take out that Ivysaur stock. And uh, Pandaria's going to get the Squirtle pick out here. See if he can apply some pressure and put him in a bad spot. He wants these down airs, but oh my goodness, the clank. That's a good, that was good uh, on Mr. Konkon's part to be able to, be able to battle back and installed it out down at the ledge to avoid the down air and right back onto the stage. But as soon as I see that, Pandarian has him in disadvantage to see if he's able to battle back. He's back on and he's back fighting and it's Luigi time. Oh no, there's the grab. And here we go again, he's able to get back. <laughs> I always get scared when he hits that side B on the stage just because I feel like he's going to get like the misfire into the stage again. Oh. Like, there's always that chance. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Konkon kind of being famous for getting the misfire right when he needs it the most. Uh, of course, it's always RNG, so it's not like you know he can control it, but. <laughs> it just tends to work out for yeah. him like, almost all the time. Right. So be on the lookout for that. Maybe the RNG gods will bless Mr. Konkon when he needs it the most, but right now, Ooh, wow, throws uh, Ivysaur. I had no idea his down throw was a kill throw at that percent. Yeah, today, uh, today Mr. Konkon learned too, <laughs> and it's he's got him. You know, he's got him out in a little bit of a comeback, and I think the only saving grace for Pandarian is he's out of that really, you know, that really combo range that Luigi has to end stocks really early. Yeah. So he has some some ability to make a comeback here. Yeah, you can tell he's favoring that Ivysaur. He's doing as much as he can to keep away to get Ivysaur back out onto the field. Yeah, Ivysaur is so strong to have in this situation, too, because he can kill so early if he gets him off stage and get down there. And able to play that zoning game against Luigi pretty well as well. Still have Kongan applying tons of pressure at the ledge, seeing if he can cover these options, get this ending blow. There, there it is. is, yep. Nice. Catching that down smash. Pretty unsafe landing fair. And uh, Mr. Konkon playing on fire today. Yeah. Upsetting Larry, takes the first game against Pandarian. Who's going to stop this man? <laughs> it's like, yeah, once it's the Luigi train gets rolling, it's it's trouble for everybody. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people want to see this character do well just because, uh, I don't know, he's, he's really interesting like character to watch with his combos. Mm -hmm. And there's not that many people still playing the character, so it's cool to see some Luigi rep. And let's see what uh, Pandarian's able to make happen. It just, you know, despite his best efforts, it just kind of looked like he was on his heels for game one, not really able to make make too much happen. Uh, got a couple of key down airs, but other than that, it just kind of seemed like 
Mr. Konkon had a pretty firm control over everything. Let's say he was able to open up Mr. Konkon and make it happen and, you know, reset the set into a three-game set or maybe Mr. Konkon's just going to run away with it and go up 2-0. Let's find out game two. All right, we go on Smashville. Consistently starting with the Squirtle here just because, you know, I think those combos are just really consistent on Luigi. Right, the opening combos. And he looks like he's going to start one right now. Oh, the neutral air breaking out of the, the old school combo breaker since uh, <laughs> the beginning of time. Nice. Wow. That Vine Whip has so much range. It's very powerful. You always got to watch it. And you can firm into it forever. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, and speaking up. of crazy, there's an up air. That thing also hits like the entirety of Smashville. Yeah, Not the entirety of Smashville, but it feels yeah, like it. Yeah, huge hitbox there. <laughs> Combined with having very little lag, just makes it really safe air to go for it. But Con Con. That just classic neutral air into uh, back air gets it. And it makes it right even. But again, you have Pandarian going to work with Squirtle, just trying to edge guard him off stage. The hard part is he's keeping him off stage, but it looks like he was trading every single one of those hits. Didn't really build himself anything of a lead out of it. And now he's taking so much fire damage from fireballs from Luigi, and he's actually falling behind. Yeah, the thing about uh, Kongo, even when he plays like matchups where we're getting, he's getting zoned out by projectiles, he's not like afraid to play that game. Yeah. He'll just hang back and play patient, shoot some projectiles of his own, and wait for his opening. Yeah, he's, when he's fireball, he's just, uh, he's not camping, he's waiting yeah. <laughs> for the right moment to strike. You know he's coming in at some point, he's got to pick the opportune moment to make his run at it. There it is, the landing fair into the upper, see if he can chase the landing. From Mr. Conkon here, but there's it stinging in the throw. Yeah, a very good option to get that grab, and he's got the cyclone and Pandarian in a little trouble off stage. Oh wow, the bullet seat coming out. I don't see that move that much. Yeah, I maybe a tech here, or maybe that was intentional. I don't know. <laughs> to get thrown off stage here. All right, oh, wow. nice. brilliant punish. Oh wait. Oh, we're oh, living. Okay, okay, yeah, if you do a special, you can uh, get a jump. You could, yeah, you could, and you can switch uh, pretty much uh, immediately. Yeah. Really uh, good recovery. It lets uh, Ivysaur or Pokemon Trainer do all kinds of crazy edge guarding. If you're able to work through Vine Whip right into Charizard, able to get back from so much stuff. Yeah, really good awareness there from Pandaren. He's just pushing this lead super heavily. It's got to kind of scare, like, just as an auxiliary, Bennett, scare Mr. Konkon in any recovery situation because now he knows. Pandaria might just go off and go 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 off and go after him. Yeah, as he should in this game, especially since his rising cyclone basically isn't even uh, rising anymore in right. this game. So. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I thought he was landing. That scared me. And Pandarian in firm control. Nice. There he went again. That's exactly what you should do against that recovery in this game. Um, since he's pretty much forced to side B now to recover, if he's doing it low, you have so much time to punish it. Just wait right. for the first one. Get your free down here. Great awareness there from Pandarian taking the game too. Yeah, it looks like Ivysaur's like almost made the punish that the down air stalls him. Everything's so perfect, and that's going to be trouble for Mr. Konkon. That might be like the biggest difference that Pandarian has found between game one and game two that made the result swing the other way. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see if Mr. Konkon's going to have some sort of counterplay outside of he just needs to not recover low anymore because yeah. that's <laughs> trouble overall for Luigi, let me tell you. Go getting right into the next game back on Yoshi's Island. Yeah, I, I feel like this stage with the walls uh, makes it easier for him to recover because he doesn't, uh, he has to pretty much go in a predictable way <laughs> to catch his side beat. Uh oh, right, nice squirrel is gonna go high here. He went high that time, <laughs> almost on cue. Kind of yeah. felt a little bit of the difference. Like, man, I got down here off stage so many times. Yeah, Let me go where the down air won't hit. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like, he got him in a Weird spot with the Squirtle, like water gun, and immediately switch to Ivysaur. He's like, yeah, I know I can spike you now. <laughs> One of the more interesting things to watch with a Pokemon trainer. Oh, my goodness. He's oh. not afraid to throw up these landing traps with the forward smash. Kind of hoping for the uh, the uh, the magnet. The I'm charging the smash attack. My opponent's going to land in front of me. But Mr. Konkon saw a little bit. Oh, oh no, oh, there it is. There's the <laughs> magnet. <laughs> As if on cue. Wow. I was going to say, Mr. Konkon was a little smarter than that, and then he did that. Yeah. And I'm like, he oh. He's going for the side beat, too. <laughs> I, he, he wanted that misfire punish. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> RNG not on his side that time, and I the smash know. attack on is not on his side either. <laughs> oh, and Pandarian gave these up air chains so so much percent here. Obviously, or Arthur puts in so much work, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like a spirit bomb of him, an up air and a down air simultaneously. Vine whip confirmed. And he's battling back. Able to recover with Charizard. But this could be an opportunity here for Mr. Concon. Oh, there it oh is. Big target. I feel like the fireballs are just like a big bait there. He's like, <laughs> I'm just going to force you to go low. And then as soon as I see the jump, down air time. Great stuff from Concon. But he's in a really rough spot. Pandarian Squirtle is back on the stage. Oh, nice call on the jump. Yeah, just content to play the ledge trap game, not going too hard off stage oh. after him. Oh, and he there picks it up is. There. <laughs> I love it. I love when they throw them off stage with the other Pokemon, yeah. and then immediately he's like, okay, it's Ivy Sword time, like with, this, with the down air. Really great stuff. Yeah. And that's got to be hard for Mr. Concon. He's got to recover somehow. And if he's low, he's got to first avoid the initial runoff. And oh, oh, there's a not. Yeah, that, oh, it did kill. Oh. Yeah. All right, it's all Pandarian now coming into game four. Had a little bit of a miscue in game one and dropped dropped the first uh, first game, but game two and game three, the oh, yeah. edge guarding looking so powerful. Oh, yeah, his Ivysaur is super on point now. Like, Concon is just struggling to get in, and then he's getting sent off stage and immediately just getting destroyed for it. Yeah, as I was saying, it's probably frustrating for Mr. Concon. He's like, well, how do I get back to the stage? And Pandarian's like, well, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's you it. You try to go high. I have this amazing up air. It's yeah. like juggling you. Yeah, up airs, vine whips. Uh, if Charizard's out, he could fly like a rogue fly or something crazy. You know, it's a, uh, it's it's a rough time. So I guess the message for Mr. Concon is, is he going to be able to stay on stage and make it happen? He went for a little bit bigger stage this time, maybe reading into it just a little bit, and also the platforms to recover on the sides, Definitely. maybe trying to open up some options for himself. Let's see if he's able to Big make out of it. Damage, Squirtle, man. Yeah, it's uh, 50 damage to open up. Looking good for Pandarian, and he's going to get a little bit more. And the switch uh, not not coming out in time is trying to probably get a Vine Whip right out of the uh, Pokemon switch. Didn't quite get it. So it allows Mr. Kong back on the stage, and he's playing that fireball game. Yeah, it's kind of navigating around. Pandarian a little bit, a little tentative coming out now after such a strong start. Not enough to quite, not quite enough to kill. But as we were saying, if Mr. Kong Kong can stay on stage, that's where he's going to get his mileage in on damage and maybe stock taking. It's just going to, you know, is Pandarian going to be able to get him off stage or is Mr. Kong Kong going to control the pace? And oh, that's a big down air. There's that smash attack read. Doesn't get it, but yeah. that, not quite enough to kill. Yeah, he's I'm been surprised. really living these kill moves. Some quality DI coming out from Pandaria and surviving the red flash. Kind of the red scare now. Yeah, there's so many times where I just feel like it's going to kill, but no people still living. Even with the zoom in effects. Right. We're seeing the Charizard come out pretty much the first time. Really wants to get this kill. Very strong character. Of course, it's always risky just because he's so easy to hit. <laughs> really big hurt box there. Yeah, he's able to start a new Squirtle coming out, and let's see he's able to make a kill. He's going to have to recover low. Here comes Ivysaur coming out like clockwork. Oh and there it goodness. is. So much time. And oh, oh that's a big play. reversal from wow. Kong Kong, though. Okay. And that's like little things, because I think Mr. Kong Kong spawned closer from the center on Kalos. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if that would have worked on the right side of the stage, because he might not have had enough time to come in and down here. <laughs> wow. That was actually really good for Kong Kong. Yeah. That's what he needed to, get, you know, battle himself back into it. Game four, sitting comfortably for Mr. Konkon. Um, and he's putting in as much work as he can. But good grab and a good follow from Pandarian. And we're right back into neutral. And maybe a miscue. He might have an opportunity to punish, but Pandarian now has him off stage. And this is where there are problems overall. Uh, and this time, instead of going in for a side special, he <laughs> threw a fireball. Learned his lesson. Oh, oh no! Oh, he teched that. DI what? In the tech. Okay. <laughs> what? He had to. I can't believe it. Wow. Oh, man. He went for the rogue up B, too. I mean, would have killed if it got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we haven't seen. We haven't yeah. seen the Con Con special. We haven't seen the roll read into an up special yet. Yeah, and if uh, you know, Pandaria is landing on him with like these aerials, I can see him going for the up B out of shield. Still, though, Kakon hanging on with the lead here, making it really rough for Pandarian to take the stock. 
Yeah, making Pandarian come to him, just content to throw out fireballs. <laughs> and Pandarian went to him and got the down throw <laughs> with the kill. And, you know, Pandarian, he's not out of it. He gets Luigi off stage and can pick up a down air. Kong Kong's in trouble. Just getting in off stage is the question. That's my ledge using that razor leaf just keep him uh, stuck in shield just a little bit. Oh. Oh, here it is. He's down low. Oh, uh, he's not quite able to get. Oh, my goodness. The pop off? Slight pop off from Kong Kong. Actually, uh, seeing Pandarian go for the turnaround grab, maybe call out a roll. And yeah. Getting the punish on the whiff grab. There it was. He called out the uh, the up beam game yeah. to you. <laughs> he got it finally. That's probably the first one, I think. So we're looking at coming in through uh, through game five. Uh, okay. Shout out to the two GG <laughs> staff coming on. You see us in the background as well. Look at the crowd. We got a hey. huge crowd coming out here. Welcome to Norwalk. Welcome to game five here at Ultimate Nimbus. Here CT Lux on the microphone with two GG strides. We got a heck of a match going on. Two to two, both yeah. players there. You know they just want to keep the keep the fun times rolling. Yeah, uh, every every match so far, man, it's just been back and forth. Like none of these guys want to get eliminated. They've been just fighting back super heavily. And uh, Mr. Konkan, he's taking a second. He got a little amped up after that win. You were saying the uh, yeah. the mini pop off, the yeah. rip the headset off to drink the water to cool down. And now he's getting back into the zone, getting back into it, and. Pandarian just, he doesn't look like he's flinched the entire yeah. entire game. He is locked in and focused. Wants to do, do the boys back home proud. So let's see if make it happen. And oh, here we go, Yoshi's Island once again. Interesting. I guess they both really like this stage. Yeah. Now it seems like Pandarian's counterfeit. And um, you know, he's able to, oh, not get back. I thought he was going to grab the ledge. Pandarian maybe missed an opportunity just a little bit. And... Con Con able to go to work, and we're still even here. Yeah, that would have been a big statement coming out in Game 5. You pick up an early down air edge yeah. guard. Yeah, that seemed to be his plan at the start of these games. Like, start really strong Squirtle, force him off stage with the water gun, and then once he's forced to go low, uh, yeah. just get that down air. He backed off that time just a little bit, gave him his space. Because before we had been seeing, he's like, he's scouting out down air no matter where he's at. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think he tried to reverse right there with a razor leaf, maybe. And he's a little down. Oh, big pickup. Combo confirm into Vine Whip. Yeah, that Vine Whip is so potent, man. Yeah, shout out to that Pokemon trainer holding on to Vine Whip this deep into the game. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought it would be this good? Yeah, here it is. The Ivy Sword Jungle is coming in. Kangan trying to air dodge the safety. Oh, oh, but the reversal, I'm just sort of putting him down in the blast zone. Seeing him going low and again, sticking out that down air. He's got the down air oh, download. He's got going. the up air juggle. It's all going Pandarian's way. There's a oh. vine whip. Oh, oh there's stars. another one. And that looks like a one-player wow. game for game five. 